In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I'm going to say only one quick word so that you know what kind of man St. Gregory the Theologian was. St. Gregory the Theologian has this quote in which he says that if a man labors with longing for God, he said, it's as if his whole life is but one day. This is how much St. Gregory loved God, and this is what he was like. And so he toiled with such intensity throughout his life, not necessarily in vicious asceticism, because he was a very intellectual man. St. Basil was very hard, and St. Gregory was perhaps a little bit more temperamental, a little bit more sensitive. But he would give himself completely to reading and to study, and this is what he longed to do. He was a very, very sensitive and kind of perceptive, I don't mean weak, but I mean he was just a very profound man, and so he would write these poems, these long poems, poems that would be dozens of pages long. And he wrote many of them, and he would study the scriptures. He would give himself to these labors of great love. But he was a man of intensity and of tremendous love of God. And he is only one of the three that have ever been called theologian. We only call three men theologians. That's John the Apostle, who wrote the Apocalypse and the Gospel, and the three epistles. We call Simeon the new theologian, which was originally not a good term, but it was given to him. And we call St. Gregory the theologian because of his orations on God, and his orations on theological topics, which were so intense that the only book read more in Byzantium was the Bible. And so St. Gregory was a man of tremendous power, tremendous learning. May we have his blessing, and may we also labor so that our entire life is but one day, according to our love of God. Amen.